All right. I have this set up, which I hope to be the right way. Of course, seeing as how I've never done one of these, and I'm going by what I've been told and I've read, I figured I'd make this little video to see, uh, ask the experts. But I think this is right. This is the Peugeot 403 motor. Over there is a, let's see here, crack 203 block, and down there is a really rotten 403 block. But here's the good one. This is number three. Okay. Gonna get my handy straight edge. Apologize for the shaky video. So, I have the engine on, well, I have it all marked and everything. Hang on here. Sorry, right. sun's of eyes. Down there, the, mar the marks. I found TDC with the piston stop method. I don't need to show that. So, the way I was told is to turn it around with the timing at TDC just until, and, and the camshaft is right, when these two rockers, well, they'll move up and down equally on each side of TDC. I believe it's these two rockers we're talking about. If so, then I have it right. So let's do it here. So we'll go down here. Let's follow the marks. That's not the mark. There's the mark right there. Little itty bitty mark. Let's see. I'm going to hold the camera and do this. I think that's right, right there. And we'll come back. She's both down. So I'm going to use a shelf bracket. I do have a straight edge, but this is just for the video to show it shows up. And they're even. And it's it's the same way they go up and down equally on both sides of TDC. So if that's the way I take it, I did it right. I hope so. Uh, you know, I, I, I take it it's not going back there. So if I'm going off of be number four technically in the book or, you know, Close one to camshaft, however that you look at it. That should be right, hopefully. Or hope. So. If so, I'll make another video confirming it. I want to ask. Oh, sunlight. Also, I found a very nasty fact. That my camshaft is in very good shape. But the thread's on the end of it. I've never over-tightened it. I've only taken them out and that's it. Well, the bolts are in excellent shape. They've stripped out the thread. That, that's a horrifying fact. Uh, glad I found it out now. I have a spare camshaft. Down that motor, you can see poking up there. But, uh, yeah, quite alarming when you go to tighten them just a little bit and nothing happens. So, either way, so you can see it's a pretty orange. There's what it's going in. Mr. 203. He's still sleeping. There you go. I mean, it's the same one. It's been in all the pictures. You've seen one picture, you've seen it all. But get the hood up here. Come on. Hang on. Oh, no one's seasick yet. I might be. There we go. That is supposed to go in here. We're hoping in a few days. We'll see. I'm quite optimistic. But all right. Hang on here. Bear with me. Open up the inside, take a peek. Still watching. Just watch a little bit longer, and that's it. Kind of like got that window to go up and down, right? It's not much to it. Good car, not much rust. Things all nice and tight. It's in miles, and I got the box open. Somebody handmade glove boxes for it. They're out of metal. That was kind of neat. Crude, but neat. And uh, my castor oil down there, and you can see it's not, not that bad. Well, let's see. Oh no! Well, it will open. There you go. All right, that proves the point. But there you go. So, hopefully, this old girl will get a new heart soon. Has ran in 20 years. All my brakes are done, and transmission pieces everywhere. And I know it's a total mess, but. Michael show the counter. It's very disgraceful. But all right, so there you go. The life and the timing of a 403.